I was uh, channeling uh, Siegfried, I think. I said, <laughs> hey, uh, great to be here, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I, some people are offended by the uh, Siegfried and Roy thing we did earlier, right? And uh, I just say, uh, they're coming back. That's people are worried. Oh, my God, it's a terrible. Uh, they're coming back, uh, but they will be billed as Siegfried and Scabby. Yeah. <laughs> and only one guy will be talking. But, yeah, similar. <laughs> people get upset in America and some, about things like that the Siegfried and Roy tragedy, and I'm here to tell you why that's not something you should be worried about, right? Uh, well, yeah, you laugh, sure, but uh, here's why. Um, let me tell you what a tragedy is, right? Um, a school bus going across the tracks here on a foggy day in Petaluma, and you know, it stalls on the tracks, and it's hit by a train, man, pam! Tragedy, tragedy. Okay, uh, a guy is poking a tiger in the face with a stick, Grah. Come, my kitten, my Frau kitten, my Schatzen, come to daddy. Poke, 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 poke. And the cat attacks him by chance? That is called a consequence. You see. Mm -hmm. Right? All right. There we go. Play my. <laughs> And on top, I would never, I, I, I'm very irreverent in my stand-up, but I tend, I try never to make, take cheap shots, right? I would never take a shot at somebody who didn't have a part in doing what they did, like a Rush Limbaugh or somebody like that, right? But in this case, the cat didn't want to be a party to that. The tiger wasn't in a jungle somewhere in Africa just going, hey, you know what? I hope two gay guys with Patrick Swayze hairdos and shitty accents... Well, take me to a tacky casino in Las Vegas where a bunch of 900-pound people can laugh at me. <laughs> Grar. I'm Asia, wherever. Africa, Asia, what am I? A zoologist lady? Asia. It'll be much funnier tomorrow, thanks to you. Huh? 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 She's like the comedy police. The comedy police. Got to pull me over in the middle of the bit here. Can't wait till I get home and send me a memo. I have a lot of random thoughts. Surprise. <laughs> and so I just scribbled them on this notepad because I'm well prepared. And I call them uh, Ever Notice. <laughs> I'm not terribly creative all the time. Ever Notice? Ever Notice I couldn't memorize these so I wrote them down? <laughs> all right, you ready for this? Ever Notice the big yellow Hummer looks a lot like the little yellow school bus. <laughs> Ever notice the people with the most writing on their clothing are generally the people who do the least reading? Mm, some people are a little sensitive about that. At least she knew where Asia was. And what animals came out of it? You never notice out of all the Bush brothers, W becoming president would have been like out of all the Corleone brothers, Fredo becoming godfather. Huh? All right. How could this guy become? He's retarded. Uh, let's see, what else? Ever notice that uh, there are more dangerous chemicals in a chalupa than we found in Iraq? <laughs> Look, it up. Ever notice that Florida is divided into two time zones? Are you aware of that, Little Miss Asia? Check it out. Uh, unfortunately, those time zones are 1938 and 1952. <laughs> they hate the Jews, they hate the blacks. That's how it works there, sort of backwards in different ways. Ever notice how driven Arnold Schwarzenegger is? There's a difference between Kim and us, and I'll tell you why. Because why? he's worth 20, $25 million a month is what he makes, a year, excuse me, is what he makes. And he's worth a couple hundred million. Yet, if it was me, I'd disappear, man. I'd go to Guerneville. You know, I'd never come back. But him, what does he do? He wants more, more, more. You know where that comes from? That comes from upbringing. That comes from your childhood. And I don't have that like he has it. Because when I was growing up, my father wasn't a Nazi. <laughs> was a Nazi. Check it out, lady. Arnold, you will do well in your studies or you'll go to the camps. Uh, ever notice uh, how of all the 
terrible tragedies that Kennedy families uh, suffered in the 60s all could have been averted and avoided. You know how? Better car choices. John takes the hard top, Ted the convertible. <laughs> all righty there. I even got little Miss Asia thinking about that one for a second. Let's see. Then, oh, he could have floated out and the bullets, yeah, all right, okay. Makes up for that not knowing about the, where the lion came from, don't it? Tiger! Ever notice that America has 4% of the world's population, yet 87% of it's fat ass? I know, that's when you start to laugh at and they go, hey, wait a minute, I've got 100% of fat ass back. Ever notice that North Korea has the bomb and South Korea has the Hyundai? Clearly, these people are out to kill us, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's see. Uh, did you ever notice how uh, uh, we were going to World War III and all this other shit, and what does uh, Homeland Security and Tom Ridge and the boys tell us to do in case we're attacked by gas or biological weapons? Duct tape! Duct tape! <laughs> Apparently my father is working for Homeland Security now. <laughs> Just tape it up. You don't need a new one. <laughs> ever notice how people say rodeo is inhumane? A lot of my friends say that. Rodeo is inhumane. Well, I try to be the optimistic part of that. Well, true. Rodeo is inhumane, but if you've got a bunch of rednecks in Novato with a length of rope, rodeo is the most humane thing they're going to end up doing. <laughs> Just, it's a neighboring town. All right. And finally, the last bit from the Have You Ever Noticed? Are you ready? Ever notice you generally have a better exit plan when you go to Ikea than Bush had when he went to Iraq? <laughs> there you go. How about a little outro music then? Have you ever noticed? We're going to stop. Uh, we're going to take a 10 minute intermission to be followed by a 5 minute delay. So, smoke them if you got them, drink lots, and Dan's going to play for a little bit in case you just don't want to go anywhere and you're just going to sit and wait. We'll see you in a little bit. Let's go see if we can follow uh, Let's go crash backstage. Don't you do an extreme close-up like that on me, huh? No, no, no. Okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're standing under the light now. Is that much better? Very twilight too. I need extreme close-up so I can get your voice. Oh, I see. Well, look at, look at this face. Look at this porno. Look at this porno. Beautiful bunch of You know? Everybody, you know what I mean? You should talk. She is one to talk. You are so funny. We ain't done yet, man. There's still plenty of show left. And we're going to add it, and we're going to change all of your lines, because I have some of my own jokes. I'm going to, like, you know, you don't mind, do you? No, you not at all. Okay, cool. Because I'm not happy with all my punchlines. I think your punchlines are awesome. Five minutes! Okay. Five minutes! That's the producer. That's my favorite. Oh, I should have my hat on. Debbie is the genius behind this show. No, I'm just a yes, producer. I'm wearing a cardboard belt. <laughs> and I'm losing my shirt. Don't be silly. You want to talk Five to me? minutes! How much time? <laughs> Five minutes! Five minutes! A transformation. It's, it's different. Where's my story? Where, 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 where? Lord comes from green room being called a green room. Yeah, every week. Because you're green with envy to get in there. The right, you turn green because you're going to get sick. It's going to be a long time. I, you know, I think that's what it is. What's the magic of the theater, which I've never been in? Johnny Seal? Johnny is brand new to. Michael Savage! Savage! What is it? Savage Nation! Give away the I need some, I need some away. blue. Give away the whole uh, they are in the business. Michael, uh, Johnny's going to be doing his whole skit before he goes on. Hold on. I'm trying to the character and the method actor? <laughs> so I know. Of the pontiff. Well, that doesn't matter. It's enough with the camera and looking at everybody. You're going to be, be very happy. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at the director of Voices and Visions, my friend Brian Key. Well, this is my maiden voyage on the, on the SS video camera. <laughs> hey, she's doing a great job. Yes. Huh? See? You're so good. <laughs> Stop it, Brian. You know that? Because there's some colorful language in this show. Not we appropriate. Can beep it. Oh, in oh, fact, uh, one of the uh, patrons. Uh, 
This is for Will. He wanted me to ask Will uh, why he has to use so much foul language in the show. Well, so uh, I'm yes. ask Will that. Yes. He says uh, it's a weakness. He says. Will said that. No, the patron said it's a weakness. Oh. He's been coming here to see Will. Uh huh. Will's been coming here for about five years. Right. And he just thinks that they should tone down words like. Well, yeah, but. <laughs> Okay, yeah, but but you know what, Brian? Yes. Hey, you know what? Seriously, when you're in the middle of your creative juices up there on stage and the adrenaline is going, who gives uh, a f right? yeah. <laughs>